Hi, my name is Roar and I would like to share a little about how to choose the right slot decoding platform when looking into using slot decoding as a tool. This is one of those decisions that can really pay off to get right from the beginning as a good coder can be a serious investment and picking the right type will save you a lot of time, money and probably also frustration down the road. Now, slot decoders come in two main types. There are the roll-to-roll -roll systems and sheet coders, also known as flatbed coders. And the first thing to consider is actually your substrate. What are you going to code on? If you're working with rigid materials like glass or silicon wafers, then a sheet coder is really your only option. But if you are coding on flexible films or foils, then both types can be used. Roll-to-roll -roll systems are designed for continuous coding, where a flexible substrate or foil moves from one roll to another, while the actual coding is being applied and dried uh, during this process. Drying is typically carried out uh, in an oven that blows warm or hot air down on the surface. And these systems are great for scaling up and depending on the size of whatever setup you have, you can add more ovens for longer drying, or you can also integrate extra treatment like a UV, ultraviolet, infrared, during while keeping these processes moving continuously. Sheet coders, on the other hand, handle a single piece or a sheet of substrate at a time and this sheet is typically fixed down on a flat surface and the drying happens from below uh, through a base plate that is then heated up. Such coders are perfect for small test areas and as mentioned before, if you're working with uh, rigid substrates, this is probably the only option for you. When it comes to setting up an experiment, then the sheet coder is by far the faster options. It's ideal for quick experiments or single coatings. The roll to roll setup, on the other hand, takes a little longer to thread, align, but once it's running, you can carry out a series of experiments without stopping. You can play around with parameters such as wet layer thickness, drying time, coating speed, or you can simply start producing something, uh, a lot of coated materials without stopping. So to compare the two systems, then, generally speaking, the road to system is all about flexibility, speed and scale, whereas the sheet coders, they focus more on precision and simplicity. It is, of course, uh, also possible to strive for the best of both worlds using a hybrid approach, where in such a setup, then you actually put a sheet coder and build it into a roll to roll line, combining the precise coding from the, the sheet coder uh, with the continuous processing of the roll to roll system.